um, some of you might know I raced in Formula One, so I've had the, the fortunate um, luck of driving a Formula One car. And this thing, uh, I find more exhilarating. It's faster in certain aspects of acceleration, braking, cornering. It is fiercely fast. Uh, we're so proud of what everyone at McMurtry has created. The sensations that you get, like just exhilarate your body. Um, I think you would have all seen out there the acceleration in this thing. It just takes your breath away um, and just leaves truly amazing cars. Like the LaFerrari, I'm a big fan of Ferrari, but it makes everything it competes against just, just look ordinary. So it's really, really unique and it's, uh, it's a, an amazing sense on the body to drive. It gives you every, every feeling, but it just gives you unbelievable performance at the same time. Well, we'd like to thank Alex, the owner of the, uh, the Ferrari, uh, for bringing that. We know that you are going to embarrass it performance-wise, so oh, but thank you so much, Alex, for bringing that along. How does this compare to driving, a, a Formula, a, 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 driving this against a Formula One car? So as I said, I've been lucky enough to drive a Formula One car. Um, in terms of braking, straight line, it matches it. Uh, it's got huge amounts of downforce and weighs so little that with a huge carbon brake, if I hit the brake as hard as I physically can with the fans on, I cannot get the thing to lock up. So it will basically stop as quickly as the driver's willing it to do so. Uh, when it comes to acceleration, 1,000, over 1,000 horsepower, under, not, under a ton in weight. Um, and so it's just, it accelerates unbelievably fast, way faster than a Formula One car. Um, and then cornering, as you would have seen me coming down the straight, I was giving it some pretty aggressive weaves um, and it was absolutely comfortable, very easy to drive. Some people ask me, what is it like to drive? And once you get in there, every person in this room could get in there and drive away. It's one gear, it's drive, it's automatic, and the throttle is really, really easy to use. Um, again, it's great for people that haven't got huge experience because it, that fan gives you that um, confidence that if you're in a modern single-seater, you would really have to be a great driver to exploit the downforce. With this car, I'm pretty confident with a bit of tuition, all of you could go out there and corner the way I just did. So it is a world's first, it is the future, it is electric. Um, and I think another thing to add is, at McMurtry, we're all racing enthusiasts. We're not anti-petrol, we love, we love cars, but this is the future and it is a magnificent thing to drive. I mean, this car creates a lot of emotion, doesn't it? You know, that uh, someone my age that's grown up as a petrol head, I think I'm going to have to become a, an electric head from now on because this car was really, the performance was, it put the hairs up on my arms and, and my neck. And, the, and you're saying that someone just like me can jump in this car and drive it? Absolutely. I mean, when we did that launch then, I was really going, what? Like, this is just absolutely mad. Like, you mean, you just... It just goes so unbelievably fast. And as, as I just said, we're, we're all uh, car lovers. And, and I've got old cars, I've got modern supercars. I think anyone that has a big collection needs to have one of these in their collection for a number of reasons. I mean, fan technology is 50 years old now, but it's been brought into the 21st century. And in my opinion, no, no race car, road car will go as fast as they will again without fans. So if you've got a big collection, this is absolutely the thing to have because it will be the fastest thing in your collection and will be very, I can't see it being beaten for a long, long time. Um, it is a truly remarkable bit of engineering. It's really fun, I think it's great to look at. People say it's very small, that's the reason why it's so nimble. It's, the smaller that it is, the more compact, the lighter it is. So everything's been done to draw performance from the car, but it also adds to the driver's, driver's experience. On a racetrack, when you're in a big racing car like a Le Mans car, you actually don't have much room to play with. But this is like a real-life go-kart that does has a thousand horsepower and can make a LaFerrari stand still. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's got so much to offer. Well, thank you so much, Max, for demonstrating this fabulous car. Can you please give him a round of applause? <laughs> and I'll be